Hello everyone, Brandon here with GDNT Basics video question line. Today's topic will be basic dimensions and how to report those. Uh, today's question comes from Dean and Dean's question is when performing FAI or first article inspection for basic dimensions should actual values be reported or should we just report the basic dimension value? I am hesitant to report actual values for basic dimensions as the tolerances are already measured in other columns. So on this one, Dean, um, I, on the next slide here, I've got a definition here with some bullets for basic dimensions, but um, to answer your question simply and quickly, um, we do not report them even on first articles. And that is because they are basic dimensions. So let's look real quick at the definition uh, so we can further clarify that. Okay, so as it's shown on here, a basic dimension is noted as a dimension with the box around it. So uh, for some of you, this may be the first time you've ever seen basic dimensions. But if you look at this value up here in the box, we've got 30. Um, that would be 30 millimeters. I would assume, but that could be 30 inches, just depends. Um, but let's say that it was this value here inside of a box. They would both mean the same thing. Um, that's supposed to be a decimal point in there. So those mean the same thing. Um, now, right below there, it says there is no tolerance associated with basic dimensions. So these are perfect. Um, so no tolerance at all. If there's no tolerance associated with it, there's no reason to report it because there will not be any deviations to that basic dimension. None. Um, it's not, that's not allowed to happen. Um, the next bullet here says you can think of them as nominal dimensions where the geometric tolerance sets the tolerance range. So a lot of times we do call them uh, a nominal dimension, especially the first little sample drawing down here in the lower left. Um, we, have, we have this position tolerance here. We have a slot width. Um, that's from 6.0 to 6.2 and then position tolerance of 0 0.1 back to A and B. So a lot of times uh, looking at that second bullet here, a lot of times what we, the way that we look at this, we have a basic dimension of 15.2, which means that we have a midplane that is perfectly located uh, right here at 15.2. It's also perfectly oriented. So remember, we've, we've said in a lot of these videos, this first datum in here is going to set the orientation of the tolerance zone. Um, so we have 0.1, which means that we've got a plane up here off this midplane at 0 0.05 up and another one at 0 0.05 down. Um, those are distributed at about that plane, that midplane that is perfectly there at 15.2. Uh, so when we're going to go to report this, We've got a couple different things uh, that would be reported on here for this. I mean, first, we have size. We have to make sure that it, it meets the size requirement. It has to be within the 6.0 to the 6.2. That is a value that we would report. And then we have a position tolerance. So just like this, uh, this one right here with these limits has a tolerance, so does the position. It's 0 0.1. Um, so we're going to be reporting what the deviation is uh, of perfect. So it's not going to come in perfect. If we were to go in here and look at this, it may tilt up here. Um, it could tilt back down the other way. So the, the actual, race this one here, um, this surface went up a little bit. And this surface came up here a little bit. Well, We've got our midplane, it's perfect, right? So that's setting where the tolerance zone is. So let me just put in the tolerance zone here. So it's gonna be here and here. Well, with that, those two surfaces skewed a little bit there when we go into probe, we may actually have a slight tilt up here, which is okay. As long as it doesn't exit um, the 0 0.05 up or, or the 0 0.05 down, it's gonna be a passing part. But the reporting of it is going to be some sort of deviation. So to zoom in a little bit more here, um, let's say that the tolerance zone, these two parallel planes here, they are, as we said down here, um, the total distance from each other is point zero point one. Remember, we have that 
that mid plane right here in the very center. But let's say that we take this measurement and it comes in like this. Well, we're going to have a plane come in and pick up the high points on this side, the high points of that side. And let's say that that total between these two is um, 0 0.05. So in that case there, then the total, oops, put my, uh, no, I got the arrow in the right spot. It's going to be this one here and this one here. So that's what's going to get reported, 0 0.05. That's what goes on that report when it gets reported. So it's the total deviation from the perfect. Um, so we're taking, like I said, those two planes closing in on where it's actually at. And really, we're just looking to make sure that it doesn't go past 0.1. Uh, but it's going to be some smaller value in there. But it's not going to be a green, red, or something like that. It's, I mean, it will be a pass valve, but it's going to give you that total deviation, just like with cylindrical position tolerancing. Uh, that's what you're going to get in your report. So I've included this little example over here to the right also, and we're going to take a look at that. Um, so let me go over this last bullet here uh, before I go over the drawing on the right side here. So basic dimensions must include a geometric control to ensure there are no dimensions with zero tolerance. In addition, you cannot locate a feature using position with non-basic dimensions. Um, so looking at the drawing on the right, we have this 15 millimeter up and 15 millimeter over. And we have some other videos in the, in the video question line about position. So if you want more information on this, uh, I encourage you to look those videos up. Um, this one here is supposed to be more geared on the actual basic dimensions, uh, which can be used with, uh, with profile as well. Angularity uses basic dimension for the angle of the tolerance zone. Uh, but again, it's, these, are, these are perfect dimensions. They're, they're perfect values. So on this one right here, the 15 up, and the 15 across, that can never be in there as uh, 15 plus or minus 0 0.1, uh, locating a position tolerance. It has to be basic, it has to be perfect, because there is no tolerance on that. Um, like I said a while ago, because there is no tolerance, I'm not going to report this and this. What I'm going to report is something relative to this here, which up here on the position callout is this that 0 0.1. That's what I'm going to be reporting. Remember what I told you before, if you have watched the position videos, you have this cylinder that will be perfectly orientated and located. The cylinder's diameter here is 0 0.1, as stated in the position uh, call out up here. Now remember the 15 and 15 um, that I have circled down here, they are locating the true position. So they're locating that true position. If you remember, if you have been through the course, that is the crosshairs that you see right inside of this red circle that I drew. So those are the true positions. This up here is the position tolerance that is located on the true position. And that's, I mean, that's the difference between those two. But we're going to report the true position, or I'm sorry, the position uh, up here, this total deviation. So we're going to be reporting that but we will not be reporting these two, this 15, 15, 30, 30, um, because up here on the cylinder that's going to be located here, it is a basic dimension of 45 from the datum. Remember on these, they don't come from the part, they come from the datum reference frame. So it's coming from this datum reference frame, not from the part. So up 15, Again, another 30 or just a total of 45, it doesn't matter. There's no tolerance stacks here because they're basic dimensions. They're perfect. Um, they don't move. They don't shift. Nothing changes about those. Um, not these locations. Remember that, and this one doesn't have a modifier in here, but if this did have the uh, an M modifier in here, the size can get bigger. So the 0 0.1, uh, we get that bonus tolerance in there. The size can get bigger but it cannot move in its location. It also can't change in its orientation. Um, this surface here is A. So on this surface here, um, if this is indeed a, a third angle projection, then that would be the top of the part. Um, if, it's, if it's not, if it's first angle, that'd be the bottom of the part, but it doesn't really matter. We just know that that surface over there on the right is A. Um, in the datum reference frame, it's called in first. So now it's going to take these cylinders that, like I said, are 0 0.1. We have RFS on these since the MMC or LMC is not there. If we come over and look at the right side view, here's these cylinders 
that are sitting over there perfectly oriented to A first. So that's the requirement first. And then located from B and then located from C. But it's all done with these, uh, the orientation's not, but these locations for these are all done with basic dimensions. So we would not report any of that. So just real quick looking at this drawing, um, what we would report if we were looking to make an inspection plan, uh, we won't look at this one, but looking at the one on the right, if we're looking at an inspection plan, well, let's look at everything we have to measure. Well, you know, first we have this datum that has flatness. So I'm going to have to inspect flatness. That'll probably be the first thing in my report because that is a primary datum. Um, then moving around, um, looking at this size, 60 um, plus or minus 0 0.1. I, I do have a thickness over here um, coming off of A. I have this other 60 plus or minus 0.1. So those are all things that will have to be inspected. And then over here, like I said before, we have the sizes. So we have to check the size and we have to check the position and report all of those. So just looking at right now what's circled here, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six things that I have to report here. Um, this will not get reported because it means nothing. It truly means nothing. It's just that, not that it means nothing, truly mean nothing, but it's that perfect basic dimension that's going to locate the tolerance zone. We know that it can't change. We know that it can't grow. We know that if we're going to put it on a report, if we're absolutely forced to put it on a report, this 30 here is going to be 30 on the report and no tolerance. And this 15 is going to go on the report as 15 with no tolerance. Um, a lot of times we'll, we will get asked, well, um, looking at this 15 millimeter basic dimension here, do I go down to the title block and use the however many decimal place this is, this is a zero, but do I use that default tolerance for its location? And no, you can't because there is no tolerance. It's a basic dimension. It's perfect. Uh, in the ISO standard, they're called TEDs or theoretically exact dimensions. Um, but they're perfect values that cannot change and they must not change because when we use them we get these perfect uh, perfectly oriented and located tolerance zones so we don't want them to be able to change or move uh, in position location any of that we want them to be locked down to the datum reference frame because we're going to start comparing or measuring our parts to them so uh, that's the that's the rule in basic dimensions. Um, we don't report them. If you are reporting them, I hope you're reporting them with a uh, tolerance of zero, deviation of zero, because they can't deviate. All right, guys. Thanks for listening today. Remember, send all your questions to questions at gdntbasics.com. Thanks, guys. Have a good day.